Howdy folks and welcome to Tiny Tent Show, episode number 34. Tonight we bring you a songwriter circle featuring the original music of Danielle Diamond, Yasmin Bowers, Randy Sabine, and Ed Willett. Ed, in his role as musical director, asked each of the writers to bring a couple of songs to this musical potluck. They had a rehearsal in Yasmin's driveway. They said it was sunny, so it was lovely to rehearse in the sun, but first time that they'd rehearsed in a driveway. But in the Musicians relaxed camaraderie tonight um, in their repartee. You're about to share in the pleasure of what it's like when a group of singer-songwriters circle up simply with the purpose of sharing their work with each other. The off-the-cuff comments, the, the gentle jabs here and there, but most of all, just the, the honest reactions of joy upon hearing each other's work. Um, we'll give you a real bird's eye into the process of, of what it takes to put a show like this together. When it comes to putting a show like this together, of course, I want to, on behalf of all the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua crew and musicians and behind the scenes and out front volunteers, I want to thank you for tuning in and continuing to support Tiny Tent Show. Um, a big thank you to our sponsors as well, and we will thank them by name at the end of the show. Not getting any easier. Uh, the folks behind the scenes are working real hard to keep this thing moving ahead. So many of you have already given, and we are grateful for that. If you're able to give more, there is, as always, a virtual tip jar available right in this very instant on screen. And then you can also just contact the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua offices and, and donate through those more formal channels if, if that interests you. Um, we don't take any of it for granted, and we're just uh, we're just happy to be able to bring you these tiny tent shows. It's it's what we're doing, you know, as uh, as long as we can, and in the face of uh, all the the headwinds, frankly, that everybody's dealing with. We uh, certainly isn't just us. Everybody around us, our neighbors, everybody's in the same dang boat at the moment. But for now, let's focus on the joy of. Uh, time spent between singer-songwriters when they they gather up in a, a beautiful musical circle. Fair enough, tonight they're actually sitting in a straight line, because that's what you got to do. But let's go ahead and, and join uh, Danielle Diamond, Yasmin Bowers, Randy Sabine, and Ed Willett for fresh music, fresh from their musical potluck. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the tent. Um, we're going to do a show that we're calling Songwriter Circle. You've probably seen that before. And for that, I've invited these amazing songwriters to come up and uh, share a couple of tunes each. And we're, you're going to see us go through down the line and each play our tunes. We've got Danielle Diamond here. I'm Ed Willett. This is Yasmin Bowers and Randy Sabine. So let's, Danielle, why don't you take it away? Then? Sure. All right. This one's called St. Paul. Two, three, four. She's so damn pretty With her sparkling lights and busy streets She's everything I'll never be I'm small town up against her charm Fighting for the place inside your arms Now I guess it's up to you after all Just don't forget what's outside
She got your heart right from the start It cut me deep next to the bone Now she don't care if I bleed or not And you begin to settle in You left our memories back home Packed into a cardboard box And now I want Well, we're going to continue on with a tune that I wrote. Um, I'm going to tune for a second. Anybody got something just in wildly entertaining to say? Randy, you don't have a mic. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> See, we always depend on Randy to say something entertaining. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. This is the first time I've been to the tent all summer. You guys, I think, have been up here once or twice once. before. but Once, yeah. Just to drive up here... You know, at the end of September, practically. I know. When we're used to being up here multiple times a week, you know, month after month after month, and uh, you drive up here, there's nobody in the parking lot, and no popcorn. It's weird. It's yeah. just like, yeah. man, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a tune that I wrote a um, little bit ago. Uh, this is called The Water's Fine, and it's a, a, a tune about the polar bear plunge that some folks take in Lake Superior in February, usually, I think. And, um, you know, when you're writing a tune, you're looking for a seed of an idea, and I, I just wanted to know what it felt like to get all gung-ho about it, because I know they're gung-ho. I've talked to people that do it. They're just gung-ho, but I just want to analyze that first impulse when they actually hit the water what is that like is your is your reason flashing before your eyes do you uh i don't know do you have an out of body hopefully an out of body experience that would be handy <laughs> anyway this is a song 
about a couple of fish, fictitious characters, although I have talked to people about doing this, not that I would ever do it. I'm a swimmer, love to swim, but that's not swimming. <laughs> that's, that's being a human ice cube, I think, is what they call that, yeah. Well, Norman was a sensible man Everybody said it was so He kept his lawn nice and neat No one ever thought he'd lose control but then one night he came home to his wife And she knew right away he was changed And Norman relayed how he found a new way A piece of the puzzle long lost till that day When it came to him, swim Lake Michigan But you could hear the regret with his very first step Jump on in, water's fine What the hell, I must have lost my mind Bad idea when I knew it the first time Here to tell it's so much worse than it's all a blur But I'm pretty sure I had feet when I jumped in And it's too late now, but I thought somehow my wife and I'd have kids And I'd give to them this one great pearl before I had to go Somebody said, jump on in, the water's fine They said, no, no The sensitive kind Everybody said it was so She wore long johns On the 4th of July Never gonna feel that cold wind blow But then one night As her clock struck midlife Norma could feel she was changing She'd come under the spell of that furnace from hell. Now all she desired was to put out the fire. When it came with a flash, take an iceberg bath. But you could hear the regret with her very first step. Jump on in, the water's fine. What the hell, I must have lost my mind. Bad idea when I heard it first, I'm here to tell. So much worse than it's all a blur But I'm pretty sure I had feet when I jumped in Kinda late to say, but if I had my way I'd know to find my kid And I'd give to them this one great pearl Before I had to go Somebody said, jump on in The water's fine You said, no, no, no Said, no, no, no It's very serious. <laughs> we took the plunge, didn't we? So going down the line, Yasmin, what do you got for us? What do you got? Well, 
We have a little Spanglish for you. <laughs> yeah, I like to like to mix it up. So um, this song was one that I wrote a few years ago. Um, I was talking to myself in the car, as you do sometimes. I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure, everybody does that, does me. Out sure. loud to someone who wasn't there. Of course, <laughs> yes. Okay, good. You're with me. Yeah. Um, who was my partner? Is is my partner? I was. I was. I. I was kind of summoning this something that I wanted to say to him, which I guess, in a nutshell, has to do with how I want to live my life. Um, mm -hmm. And so, it's about taking that moment to really ground yourself and and feel what it is to be inside your body. So. Wow. <laughs> all in the car. All in the car. Wow. Yeah, with no one. Remind except me, me not to carpool with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's good. It's good. Uh, well, you know, it's it, these kinds of adventures mostly happen when I'm alone. So okay, good, I, good, don't good. worry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your driver. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's that was the spark of this song, and. Um, and so it has this contrast between English and Spanish. Um, and the English part is kind of this more, this bigger picture looking out and kind of imagining, um, <laughs> I just sound crazy. I just <laughs> sound crazy. I don't know if any of you ever felt like you've, like you've done this before, you know, oh, yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was, that was kind of this big picture of like, um, w you know, why are we here? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Did he ever hear the tune? He plays it with me. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's my drummer. You are brave. <laughs> well, he likes it. That's, okay. that's why we're still together. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Recuerda or Remember. Yo 
Come stick around. <laughs> yeah, um, Yasmin's uh, boyfriend has played with the BCL. He has, yeah. Mm -hmm. On Tiny Tent, in fact. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. He was our, our first person from Cuba to play mm -hmm. on Tiny Tent. First and only, right? Yeah. <laughs> International collaborations. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a first. It's amazing what's possible these days. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it took a while for me to realize that most musicians are available. <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, if you have a good project, um, I used to assume, oh no, I couldn't play with this person, and then I would meet that person, and then they'd say, man, you should have called me. You know, as long as you have the right calling card, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but everybody's looking for work, especially now. Yeah. So, yeah. wow, the projects coming out now are going to be notorious. Oh, yeah. It's serious. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Hey, Randy, you got a mic. You can talk. Yes, I do have a microphone. Oh, way yes, to go. there you go. I love that. Yeah. Um, well, I'm honored to be uh, part of the songwriter circle, even though it's a straight line. <laughs> it's quite Sorry, a circle, man. but let's not get technical <laughs> about that. Um, because I'm not really, I don't really consider myself a songwriter, really a violin player and then a multi-instrumentalist and I write songs for my own amusement mostly. But you called me an amazing songwriter and I've never been called that before. I've been called an amusing songwriter. <laughs> Some of me have heard my latest creation, the ballad of Baronet Bob. Yeah, I so. heard it. Well, this is actually a serious song and um, this is written, I was on the road with Jim Post, um, and um, I happened to go back to, we were doing a show at the University of Illinois, which I had gone to school for a couple of years. And so this was um, maybe, I don't know, three or four years after I'd been there, and I uh, just pick, picked up my guitar and started doing this, and it's kind of the, the concept of being back to where you were a few years ago and thinking about that person and then this other person a few years later. And also a little bit of Zen and the art of motorcycle maintenance crept in there too. The, it's titled The Ghost, and, and that's one of the main themes of that book, uh, Chasing a Ghost. There's a ghost on every corner of the times I've traveled through. I tap him on the shoulder, saying I remember you. I know that he'll be waiting whenever I return to take me back to yesterday and make my memory burn. And I want to hold on and feel like I should stay. But there's a time to remain and a time to go away. I see him in the windows of every place I've been A silvery reflection of the man who's staring in No one else can see him, but it's not a mystery Something I keep chasing The ghost belongs to me And I want to hold on To feel like I should stay There's a time to remain And a time to go
you'd like me to join in, but it would never last. I've gone so far beyond him, he's locked into the past. Well, there's something that I keep wondering after I am gone. But will the ghost I left behind me still follow me around? Will I still try to hold? time to go away You know I want to hold on I feel like I should stay Don't you know there's a time to remain And a time to go away Time to go away Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. No, I hardly ever perform that song maybe once or twice no it's been by myself to hear the harmony vocals and the <laughs> cello and the keys holy smokes yeah. you did now if i could job. just get get somebody else to sing it and we'd have some no. <laughs> ben hill let's go back to you yeah okay so is um, that right yeah you're yeah doing it. Mm -hmm. so my second song for the night um originated out of a um, creative writing poetry class that I had to take at Northland College. Um, it was probably a year and a half or two years ago. Um, but our assignment was to choose a form and write a poem based on whatever form we chose. And mm. I learned there's such a thing as a blues poem. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, well, of course I'm going to choose that one because <laughs> I can make it into a song easily. And, you know, poetry and and music are so intertwined. And so I pretty much wrote this blues poem and um, then presented it as a final, but I, I got to sing it too. Oh. Um, but it had to be sung a cappella. And now this is the first time that I've ever performed it live with an ensemble and it sounds really, really great. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Red, White and Blues. And um, although I wrote it a couple years ago, it's still extremely relevant to today's times. Um, this is red, white, and blue. Blues, sorry. Oh, we're deep in the water, floating far from shore. Yes, we're deep in the water, Floating far from shore Cause there's fire on the hillside Burning fast and orange And the children are crying Across the border The liberty 
floating far from shore We're so deep in the water Floating so far from shore Cause this fire on the hillside I do have to hand it to you, Danielle, as a, an English major, you were able to rhyme orange. Yeah, well. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that in the it's shore. A near, it's a near rhyme. With orange, close yeah, enough. Close I'd, enough, yeah. I bow down to yeah, that. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Isn't that one of the few words that doesn't have like I think so. many, I don't think yeah. it has any official no. rhymes. Yeah. yeah. Wow, bravo. <laughs> well, eh. <laughs> Oh, that's such a powerful song, Danielle. Oh, thank I love, you. I love it. Thank you. I really you. love playing it with you. Thank you guys for bringing it to life. Again, that was the first time that All right. yeah. anybody's heard that. So thank you. Well, I guess it's up to me to bring the, the mood down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do uh, actually an uplifting tune. It's a, I wrote it before all the COVID thing happened, but it's... Um, Certainly apropos as well. So this is called The Lucky One. I breathe in. So many around me have found their hand So I search for my courage and I think of them Just live in the grace that makes this life worth living. They breathe in. I'm 
First time I heard that, I think it was about a year or two ago. Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's one of my faves. All right, I love that one. All right, oh. yeah, it's so pretty. I think the first time I heard it was on stage when you handed me a chart and I had to play it with you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. And it was, yeah, it was great. Yeah. Those those moments, just to address that a little bit. Well, like this is like this. We got together one you know, afternoon in Yasmin's driveway. <laughs> yeah. That's the first time I rehearsed in a driveway. Mm -hmm. So all kinds of COVID-ish. Add that to the list. covid nished <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there's something really cool about the first time you a band plays together or, you know, in this. And we've all played together in different configurations, but we haven't played any of these tunes together except this one. Mm -hmm. This one we played together. But I love that. I mean, it, when you've got a lot of time and with a band, that's a special thing too, because then you can, you know, you've got your foundation and you don't have to worry about is it going to train wreck as badly. <laughs> but <laughs> when you haven't played the tune a lot, it's really exciting. It's a real adrenaline for oh me yeah. anyway. Oh I, yeah. I dig that. No, I've had that, that same experience. Yeah. Most of the music that I record is instrumental, um, you know, jazz, violin, and yeah. instrumental things I've written. And, we often go into the studio, assemble musicians, and we haven't necessarily played these tunes or even played together as a band. Yeah, yeah. Maybe send out a demo ahead of time or something, and maybe we'll, you know, kind of run through it a little bit and rehearse some little parts or something. Then we'll say, okay, take one. Yeah. Boom, we play that. Okay, well, that was pretty well. Let's do take two. Boom, okay, that, you know, that. And, three takes and uh, I can't tell you how many times we go back to the original take <laughs> oh, yeah. was the best one you're just yeah. mm -hmm. you're, you're not going to overplay you yeah. know you're not that comfortable with it yet <laughs> and you're but you you want to do a good job so you're kind of on edge it's kind yeah. of exciting and everybody's you know moving around mm -hmm. and sometimes the more you get comfortable with things then you start getting creative and you start playing too much and you start <laughs> yeah. deviating from that original seed yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. you know so you're right about the the first time you play something with, with you know, a group, you know, whatever, it's it's often the you know, yeah. little gem. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I kind of feel that way about when I first write a song too. Sometimes where like those, oftentimes those really terrible recordings on my phone that I just slap down, they're great. Like those are the gems because that was the original inspiration. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they just sound terrible. <laughs> it just depends. Well, there's no. that. <laughs> there's always that. There's both. There's definitely both. <laughs> well? Yeah, let's give us another tune. OK, well, this is one that I dug up from the phone stash recently. All right. um, it was in the archives, as I told you. Um, I wrote this back in when I was in school at McNally Smith, which you know, Mr. Randy Sabine was a professor there for many years. And um, and I, w I think it was a composition class, or ensemble, and I had to write this song. Um, yeah, I think it kind of speaks for itself. This one uh, has a lot of words, so listen carefully. And um, it had to do with my frustration of coming into the world as an adult and learning what that means in our <laughs> system and uh, the things, the ways that it doesn't really work for a lot of people. And a lot of the people that I saw around me, myself included, um, it sort of feels like you're just climbing this escalator that's going backwards sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what this song is about, frustration. All right. And there's a little hope at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for throwing us a bone. <laughs> And the 
daydream dies Now there's something else here, something cold inside Say, hold on to your dreams, don't let them get away. And when the devil's just two steps behind, it's hard to say. When the path has led you astray, if it's what you love. What you hate Just gotta pay your dues And make it through till holiday And the wise ones say You must invest in something now So you can live a better way So just make your choice And start the race This is how you play And in time Oh.
I wish I could write a song like that. (laughs) (laughs) Good. Wow. That's incredible. I I wish I could write a song like yours, Danielle. I'm always getting too, so complicated. (laughs) I love it. I, I, I just, I constantly feel like you guys are up here and I'm kind of like hanging out down here. Uh, But I've learned, I learned so much from you guys and it's just a treat that I even get to share the stage with all of you. This is so cool. Thank you for having me as part of this, by the way. Well, I have a question for all of us actually, because I, I sort of feel like everyone I talk to feels that way, you know? Mm where there's like this, oh, I'm not good enough to be a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> and I, is that something that you've experienced? Like, what, do you want to chime in on that? Yeah, or? sure. Definitely. Um, <laughs> you know, there's great value in playing with people that draw you up. You know, if even if it's just in your mind, you know, they pull you up. Yeah. And uh, I've been a big proponent of putting yourself in situations where you get your butt kicked <laughs> a little bit. I think that's a really great thing, you know, and uh, the if you don't do that, we all know that leads to uh, bad things. <laughs> you know, perspective, lack of perspective, and I think it's just very handy. But you know, one thing I, I think is really cool here is um, I was talking to um, my wife about uh, the age range here mm. and I, I have always noticed there are, are musicians who think about age and there are the musicians who don't think about age and I was always playing when I was in my 20s I was playing with 50 year olds 60 year olds that's what you do you, you know? still are yes <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's really cool because you know music is uh, I don't even think about it I don't think about how old anybody is or or what, how much background they have. It's just, what do you bring, you know? Yeah. And you guys, you bring it. No. Yeah. 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 Well, when I, um, when I put my bands together, I'm usually hiring rhythm sections, bass players, drummers, keyboard players, guitar players. And I always try to make sure that I'm the weakest member of the band. <laughs> so far, so good. No. <laughs> oh, no. You do, you want to be pulled up. But it's cool when when you can all pull each other up in different ways too, oh, I, yeah. which I think is yeah. it's cool to work with musicians of your caliber, where it's like we well, all have our different strengths. And that's cool. the, that's the, the interesting thing about this this lineup here is that it's called a songwriter circle, but um, we're all strong instrumentalists. Besides, you know, um, when uh, Danielle is singing a song that she wrote, we're accompanying her. She's got a little band and, and we just go down the line like this and we each have a little band and that's very cool. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of people if, who are professional songers, they can write songs really well yeah. and they can accompany themselves, to, you know, but um, to find, you know, musicians and musicians who are songwriters, singers, and they can play the keyboard, they can play more than one instrument, you know, they can arrange and that's what we have here. It's a, it's a, it's a powerful as- assembly. And just like on that last tune, we're, Ed and I are improvising little string parts. You know, we're looking at music, but they're just um, chord progressions. And to be able to improvise a symphonic string part, you know, with another string player, that's pretty cool. And then to have Ed able to uh, accompany himself <laughs> on his own song on the cello mm-hmm. instead of the guitar, that's, mm-hmm. that's unique. unique. We just take it for granted up here in Schwamming and David. <laughs> oh, every every cello player can do what Ed does. <laughs> oh, it's just like, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Well, I think we You're should take unique, it on the Ed. road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Randy's gonna close the show for us with a beautiful tune, and uh, thank you so much uh, to the Big Top for making this happen. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, I want to just take a moment to thank uh, Travis Johnson for the sound and uh, Tom Drawn for the visuals and Abe Clark for the editing and the help now and also Terry Meyer Mateer for um, making this all happen. So, thanks. All right, uh, this last tune is called the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel maybe that's why you put it at the end <laughs> but um, you, you know you just never know where songs are going to come from I don't really necessarily try to write a song but I and I can remember you know where I was when I wrote 
any particular song. And this one is in a weird place. I was doing a, a string residency in Dodgeville, Wisconsin, working with um, the string program there. And I had a, like a maybe an hour or two hour lunch break. And there I was alone, he was eating you know, a lunch and then there was a piano, so I started fooling around. <laughs> a little chord progression and some lyrics came to me and I just started oh, just started writing them down and I didn't even intend to write a song so I, I wrote all these things down little ideas and then uh, and then uh, later a, a friend of mine came in popped in and I said oh, I've just been fooling around on this thing here's what I got and she said she was a professional photographer she says I have a photograph that is exactly what you just wrote and so I went over to her studio, and there it was. A photograph. Everything that I wrote in this song was in that photograph. Cue the crazy sounds. Yeah. Okay, here it is. You might want to say, well, I hope the photograph is better than the song. But we'll see what happens. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel I can see a bend in the road ahead I can see a break in the clouds up above me I can see the place where I've been led I can see the light at the end of the tunnel I can see the fog on the other side I can see the ba da 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 I'm just gonna do that again because I've just, uh, you know, the classic thing is forgetting your lyrics and <laughs> even though they're right here in the little cue sheet here Remember your own song. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can see a bend in the road ahead. I can see a break in the clouds up above me. I can see the place where I've been led I can see the light at the end of the tunnel I can see the fields on the other side I can see the darkness that surrounds me I can see the walls where I want to hide I feel my shadow spinning Dancing round and round I feel like a new beginning As it turns me upside down I can see the fog on the hills in the distance. I can see the place where I long to be. I see the old tracks disappearing of one who went before. But I do not know who's steering. I can't hold on anymore. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can see a bend in the road ahead. I can see a break in the clouds up above me. I can see the place where I've been led. I can see the place where I've been led. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Beautiful. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
Well, folks, that's our Tiny Tent Show for tonight. A beautiful musical circle, even if it wasn't a straight line. Thank you for tuning in, for taking the time. Um, if you're able to sling a little something in the virtual tip jar for the musicians and the folks behind the scenes who are putting these shows together, please do so. We always welcome sponsorships and donations and specifically want to thank sponsors for tonight's show. Jim and Joy Perry, Fiorio Wealth Advisors, Von Holtz and Chevrolet Buick GMC, Hawkus Law Offices, Anna Biermeyer and Roger Hansen in honor of Giving Tuesday in 13 days. Well, folks, thanks again for, for visiting with us. As you know, around here, we don't say goodbye. We just say, well, I suppose. I don't think we even say suppose. We say spose forward.